We haven't heard back from the NSA, probably won't for a long time. They did promptly respond, however, to some stooge at The Intercept, which is some joke billionaire-funded website. This guy filed a FOIA request about our FOIA request and then wrote on Twitter this, I've obtained under FOIA the FOIA request Tucker Carlson sent the NSA. So what's interesting is, and it really does kind of crystallize the total degradation of American journalism, The Intercept was founded to push back against the, the surveillance state. It was founded by Glenn Greenwald. And now, of course, they're busy covering it up and cheering it on. You wonder, instead of FOIAing our FOIA requests, what are you going to find there? Nothing. Want to figure out what the NSA is doing, the largest intel agency in the world. That might occupy your time. That might be a virtuous thing to do. Doesn't occur. Ken FOIA the FOIA. A uh, reporter at BuzzFeed did as well. But you'll note that in Tucker's thing, he only talks about Ken. So why is that? And this was talked about in Ken's appearance on Deep Dive last night. Um, there was a point where Tucker used to love to go on and attack BuzzFeed. That's a thing that Fox did at one point. But now that's not fun, that's not exciting enough. He wants to attack Ken and through Ken the, the intercept. Why? Why did he have all those shots about the intercept, which has been incredibly critical of state surveillance? Um, it's just Glenn Greenwald. Glenn Greenwald's been on his show a lot, and so he's paying him back by attacking a company that Glenn now hates. That's it. It's there's no more substance to it than that. It has nothing to do with him having a problem with a billionaire backer of the Intercept. Yes, Tucker Carlson for Fox News doesn't like when wealthy people fund media outlets. But that's Buzz, probably what it is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Even even Tucker's limited, strategic, well worded criticism doesn't make sense. It falls apart on its face because. He's saying some shady billionaire funded site. It was launched with the money from a billionaire given to Glenn Stinkin' Greenwald. Well, and I, I don't think I don't, Tucker's gonna bring that up the next time. But, but again, so the bill, and also he's on a billionaire funded network, Fox News, that went $450 million in the red before anybody made any money off that. And that yep. money came from Rupert Murdoch. And he has no problem with that whatsoever. No, this is. This is all just such, what, what, Ken Foy the Foy. Okay, so if you think that that was a waste of time, then it's perhaps a waste of time. It wasn't, we actually found out something about what you were doing, which is what really grieves you. But then why would you be talking about it? It's just such garbage. And by the way, I, I haven't talked too much about this story on the show because we live in this really weird climate and Ken is experiencing this right now where if there's a conflict between someone like Tucker Carlson, who's a white supremacist fascist tool and the NSA, you just have to pretend that everything Tucker is saying is true, because if you don't, then then you like the NSA, even if that's not consistent with anything that you've said before. As with Ken, it is not. He's incredibly critical of them. Um, so you're just supposed to assume that it's all true, even though every detail we've gotten from this makes it seem as if Tucker's thing is largely BS. The only thing that isn't BS is that Yes, some of his stuff might have been intercepted by the NSA, which might be doing things that in general we don't agree with at all, but not the specific things that he's claiming they are. He's communicating with people who live in other countries to set up an interview with a government figure of a different country. And that was intercepted. And his takeaway is not that it's possible that they weren't spying on the foreigner, they were spying on him. It's that that's the only Conclusion, he said that in his show, that's the only possible explanation when you're trying to set up an interview with a foreign leader. And he said the reason they're doing this is to intercept that and then reveal it to embarrass him. So they were gonna reveal that he was trying to get an interview with Putin to embarrass him when presumably we would have found out about it anyway had he conducted the interview. None of this makes any sense. If you not even scratch the surface, you blow on the surface a little bit, it doesn't make any sense. But something, something, the NSA, Tucker Carlson, he seems really important here. But how really, really brief, one more point, how important? He is saying that the NSA is spying on him, a journalist, individually. How serious should we take this? Maybe about as seriously as Fox is, because Fox hasn't talked about it at all. Like think about if Brett was getting spied on by the NRO or something. TYT would be talking about it because that's super significant. Fox is acting as if there's nothing to this and they don't want to get wrapped up in it. So I'm gonna take some of my cues from them. And none of any of this can be interpreted as supporting the NSA. I'm perfectly fine with them shutting the NSA down. I have no interest in them whatsoever. But the NSA being bad doesn't make Tucker Carlson good or honest. 
I've been spied on by the WWE for ages and <laughs> nobody here has stepped up to me. That is true. That is I'm true. Bet- just, I'm caught between a rock. Flexing you. <laughs> and Iraq. In a Cena place, anyway. Yeah. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.